Let's and come up. Gindan, Yagobi, Yangari. When he come on the east day, you be there to meet him. And you say, Galango, Charlie. You say good morning to our son. This is the way. Until our country, you know, the last initiation was about 200 years ago. I think this process is essentially one of the most important things a young man could experience. Like people think it's only 12 boys, but if you look at it from Long, a longitudinal side of it, that's 12 generations that you're going to change. The young boys that come through this camp, they're still the same people, but there's a difference to them now. They're, they are powerful, strong, spiritual, respected young men now. To watch them come in and to lean into this process and trust the process and to hear the stories of men from all different walks of life. Well, you, you see men tell things, say things that they've never told anybody before. Boys suddenly are able to talk about um, sexuality in a constructive way, to talk about addictions in a constructive way, to be able to talk about deep emotions and loss and relationships and fun and all of those things that make life what it is. As that whole is the community, they need to understand that they are very, very important. And they are again, they're valued and loved. Because only then can they progress as responsible, loving young men. You are a very special group of young men. I want you to remember that, that you were the first in 200 years. Time and time again, I have seen that this work is healing. And, and this work changes lives. This work saves families. From this um, Rites of Passage camp, they'll have an association with this country that they'll never forget. And you say, you're going to follow my law. Now you own my country. And in that way, that's our country. All together, one people. Same colour when you close your eyes. I've rediscovered that we have more in common than we have in difference. Changing a generation is changing one person at a time. It doesn't matter where they are, they'll be able to come back to this place through multiple ways, through smells, through feelings, through memories, through dreams. It's very special. I've always wanted to come home to Baitula country, but I've never had the opportunity to come here. This work on so many levels is so critical and, and for me I believe is the, the big thing missing at the moment and, and we have an incredible opportunity to bring it back. I'm going to be a better person. Uh, a better person for you and for myself.